Stephen Burns Sargent, Blockchain Futurist Conference 2022. Vitalik is talking in the background, but we stole the marketing extraordinaire here today to talk to Lisa a little bit about marketing in the tech space like cryptocurrency. Lisa, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Thanks, Stephen. It's a pleasure to be here. Very exciting times. The Futurist Conference in East Toronto has just been an amazing experience all the way around. Um, so what I do is I help, uh, I help companies really talk about their stories, get people to understand how to use their technology, why, why it's valuable to them. That's amazing. Now we have a lot of Omnia uh, protocol stuff here, a lot of Omnia representation. Tell us a little bit about Omnia and how did you wrap your head around the technical aspects when it comes to marketing uh, such a powerful protocol? Oh, well, Omnia, I, definitely a fan of Omnia, um, as you can tell. Um, Omnia is one of those uh, best kept secrets that we're trying to kind of amplify to the world. Um, what they actually do is whenever you, um, whenever you interact at all with a blockchain, whether you're buying an NFT, you're buying a token, anything at all that interacts with a blockchain node, you're actually amplifying a lot of your information, your private information. So in Web2, we all know that our IP address, everything that we, we do is tracked our behavior, and we're all upset about it that other companies can capitalize and monetize on it. Um, in the Web3 world, the whole thing is about data ownership, giving back the ownership to, to the user, but the nature of the blockchain is to be transparent. So what happens when you're doing a transaction on your wallet, whether it's on a computer, whether it's on a device, is you're amplifying all your information. So not just where you are, your IP, your behavior, everything else, you're actually amplifying your transaction because it's transparent. And the, trans the transparent transaction shows like, I've just bought $1,000 of this. I just bought this NFT for $250. So that then in turn ties your activity, not only how much you spend, but your wallet address, everything back to you. So we help kind of create a compliant privacy to be able to, uh, to ensure that people aren't snooping. That's awesome. Now we've had several interviews today with Christian, Alex, and some a great American and Canadian uh, crypto compliance professionals. Alex and Christian are really, really humble and shy, it seems like. How do you bring uh, the excitement and how do you amplify those brands where they know their stuff technically, but they may not know how to present it, or it might feel like bragging depending on which jurisdictions they are coming from around the world? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. I think what I'm really, really fortunate as a marketer is that I'm working with two founders that have been instructors, they're professors, so they know how to teach, they know how to simplify and break down things, so they've really made my job super easy to be able to do. That's awesome. There's been a lot more activity, I think, than Omnia Protocol booth today than we've seen in normal years on the second floor. They have a nice little carve out there that's courtesy of Tracy and the rest of the amazing Untraceable team. Talk to you a little bit about, like, what is it worth getting a booth? Is it the visibility, having the team members here who were here as a group, this is their first team meeting, but they have a strong presence, maybe the strongest presence here at Futures. Talk to a little bit about either the strategy or some things that you've learned from this process. Well, I think we were super fortunate and it comes down to you can have the best booth to design, you know, the best t-shirts, the best swag, but really it's the organization. The way Tracy and the Untraceable team have put this conference together, they had every single detail and they made sure whether you were a small startup starting out or whether you were a massive, you got the same attention. We were super fortunate um, because our team was flown in from all over. We're a global team. We definitely had a presence here. We're, we were uh, we were very fortunate to uh, to land what we think was not only the best spot but the best group. And we had people flocking to us, which was a real treat. That's awesome. And thanks. Shout out again to Tracy and the team. Talk to us a little bit about you know I help uh, produce the Chainalysis Public Key podcast, and the CMO there is actually very technical, and he's the host of the podcast. And tell us a little bit about either whether you're a technical uh, marketer or a non-technical marketer, how do you appeal to those tech-savvy and crypto-focused companies uh, with your services? No, thanks, thanks. That's a, that's a great question because I think this entire space is all technical and there's some incredible technology and uses to be able to do it, yet it's true, it's simplifying it. It's like, why would I use it? Why would I hire this application to make my life easier? And, um, and I would call myself more of a technical marketer because if I truly want to understand and get either devs to start um, using our, our, our software or if I want to be able to onboard users or investors, it's it's something that they have to understand and um, 
and yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of YouTube. It's it's a it's a lot of white papers. It's a lot of time with Alex and Christian, sort of help. They they help me a lot go through their technology, their tech stack, their developers. They really take the time. So I have to usually invest quite a, okay hundreds of hours of of of, uh, of just information absorbing and going back in questions and uh, yeah to be able to to be able just to say that one line. This is what Omnia does. <laughs> you do such a great job, and you have you know several clients, whether it's big exchanges, small exchanges, or similar protocols to Omnia. Uh, I can firmly admit that there's been sev several presentations today uh, and yesterday that it doesn't seem like the companies put a, a huge amount of effort in putting their best foot forward on the biggest stage, probably in Canada. Well, what's some advice that you would give? Is it just a, a marketer in the audience that could help some of these speakers or companies be able to broadcast uh, their message a little bit clearer while they have that 10, 15 minutes on stage? No, that's you know that's too true. Typically in these events, right, you spend a lot of money to come here and then you kind of expect like build it and they'll come and it just doesn't work that way. You really have to look at every single detail. So, um, you know, Omnia really only knows how to put their best foot forward and it took, so we did definitely do a good, like a few months of planning here because everybody was coming in from all over the world to be able to get to know the people in Toronto and, and, and to get to kind of know them in advance. Um, everything from the swag to the t-shirts to, you know, the presentations to setting up meetings. It, it, was a, it was a lot of effort. It was a team effort that put it together but it's not just build it show up at this you know show up at the booth and you know just hope people come to you it did uh, it, 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 it's a lot more than that so back in 2017 maybe even 2018 you wouldn't see too many people flock into a booth that has security compliance and privacy labeled all over it but we're seeing with many of the panels today regulations compliance is is, is forward thinking on many of the the builders here today talk to us about like your experience in the last five years and how much compliance has evolved over that time well that is so true i just came from uh from you know i i, I go to a lot of blockchain conferences and one of my biggest concerns was a lot of the security booths were empty right and it's like oh no right uh, there the compliance booth there wasn't a lot of attention being put to them so um but I don't know if it was in the last few months that that you know that just has changed with everything that's in the news with you know all the all the exchanges you know going back the exchanges but you know hacks and, and different things there's a lot more eyeballs to it so yes we're we're thrilled people were coming up to us and said we came up to you because we saw security privacy and p compliance and that's important to my business so it's not just if you're an exchange anything at all that you're developing where you have users on your application you have to look out for them, right? And um, and you have to do the research to look out for them and, and be able to find tools. So we're a middleware and we're a tooling that helps um, helps organizations just really abide and, and, and make their users safe and protecting. That's awesome. Lastly, let's talk about you as a leader and an educator in this space. Now, a lot of these firms, especially with the bear market that we're going through, don't have a lot of money to spend on marketing. They never really prioritize marketing in the first place. So talk to us a little bit about what you, advice you could give those that do have a marketing department and for those that are using some of their operations people to do the marketing, what are some tips, some helpful tips you could give them quickly that they can implement immediately after this conference? Well, I think one of the, the, the strongest things, especially coming out of the pandemic and COVID, is that getting that face-to-face, -face, that face-to-face -face interaction and, and just going back into the community, just connecting back with people, I think has been one of the most important things that uh, that we've been doing, just reaching out, uh, participating, uh, participating, asking people like, you know, how can I help you, right? How can I help you uh, with an area that me, we might have? So it's, it's less about me and it's all about kind of us and really building out the ecosystem with here. Um, during like the crypto winter it's it's about it's about more of a community than i think that i've ever seen in the past thank you so much lisa for taking your time one take amazing job with the interview thank you so much thank you so much for having me